So where might role-playing games go from here? I believe the future is brighter than ever for the platform. In fact, I see no chance that they do anything but become further entrenched. Take the plans of Disney World to add a Star Wars-themed hotel to their property. They are offering Star Wars-themed packages that promise people the chance to be completely immersed in all things Star Wars for three days, complete with missions and intricate plots. It'll cost you thousands of dollars, but you'll be able to be part of the Star Wars universe like never before. We've seen the same sort of thing happen with Harry Potter at Universal Studios, and I expect more of these efforts in the future. Media companies are savvy to the desire of fans to lose themselves in a work. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has made billions off the appeal of Uber fans to dive into the nuts and bolts of a film to find all the Easter eggs and hidden clues that might lead them to more secrets. In fantasy, Brandon Sanderson created a sprawling Cosmere that has proven incredibly popular, tying together seemingly unconnected fantasy worlds into one universe. Each of these efforts is already using elements of role-playing games and augmented reality games, and science fiction has been predicting immersive virtual reality worlds for decades. I purchased the original Oculus Rift, and I just upgraded to the Quest 2 this past December. The original needed a $2,000 computer to function, as well as a bunch of extra cables and sensors. The new one only needs the controllers and the visor, and even the controllers are optional for some games. Knowing how successful World of Warcraft has been, I think we'll see a virtual reality equivalent of that in less than a decade. And all of this ignores the most glaring recent global changes incurred by the, by the pandemic. When I think back on how much life in America changed after 9-11, I wonder what the repercussions of this global event will be in the years and decades to come. Many of them we can probably only guess at for now, but if nothing else, the sustained period of social distancing has accelerated the, the familiarity with using technology to interact with others from a distance, not just with message boards and, to, and social media, but with video calls and online gaming. I remember going to Epcot as a kid and seeing some of the portrayals of what life would be like in the future. It took COVID-19 for many of those portrayals to move closer to reality. But with role-playing role games, it all comes down to one central kernel, the desire of people to be a part of the creative process, to own it in some way. In my opinion, it's the same thing that draws people to buy music and books or, going back further, to have a player piano. Capturing something that was fleeting and used to be able to only be created by others and instead creating it yourself. RPGs allow you to allow you to be the author or the composer if you're the DM, and even if you're just playing out a scenario someone else created, you still get to put your own stamp on it. That seems to be an innate desire shared across humanity, and thank goodness for it. Most of the things I love to do come, come from that single urge. Thanks for listening.